Hi everyone. So today we're going to make these fun snow globe shaker cards and gift tags using Lawn Fawn's Ready Set Snow stamp, die, and shaker add-on set that was released about three years ago. And then we're going to fill in the scenes in our little snow globes with some images from other previously released Lawn Fawn stamp sets, including the Nutty or Nice stamp set that we're using to create this scene right here with two little squirrels and they're exchanging a gift and the gift is this cute little nut. Now, this stamp set, Nutty or Nice, was part of Simon Says Stamps Stamptember event last year and it is currently unavailable unless you wanna go on eBay and pay $125 for it. But if you just adore this scene and you don't have the Nutty or Nice stamp set, check out Lawn Fawn's Cheery Christmas stamp set that was also released several years ago because there are two little squirrels that are in the same exact position and then there is also a little nut with a ribbon around it. Um, so you can use the Cherry Christmas stamp set to create this scene as well. Um, so let's get right to it and color in our snow globe. So I'm going to stamp the snow globe twice, once for the inside of the card, and that's what we're filling in now. And then we're going to stamp it again after this, and we are going to color in the bottom part of the shaker because that's going to be um, on the front of our card. So now that I've colored in the background and I wanted to give it, you know, a real wintry feel. So that's why I used my dark blues and my blue greens. And I tried to make sure that the edges of the scene were really, really dark just to help reinforce the idea that this is a circular snow globe. Although the fact that this is a three dimensional shaker card, that's also going to help with the effect as well for our little squirrels. I'm coloring them in with some E20s. This is one of my favorite um, Copic combinations. I love the E20s series. It's a really, really bright, deep and rich brown. Um, sometimes it can be overpowering. So if I were to do this over again, I would probably use the E40s because I find that that's a little bit more of a dull um, brown color, but I think it works fine here for our little our little squirrels especially since there is going to be a lot going on in this scene so the darker we can make them the more they'll stand out against the backdrop so now I'm just going to color in the little Santa hat with some reds as well as the ribbon around the nut and then we're going to give our little lady squirrel a purple scarf and then just going to color in the nut here with some E40s And then we're going to add, I'm trying to add some little pieces of fur here to the tails. So I just added a couple of strokes of some really, really dark brown just to make the tails look a little bit um, interesting and to make them pop away from the body since we have so much brown in this scene. Then for the snow, I'm gonna use BG10 and some BV31 just to leave some shadows and in the snow and to make this the snow and the ground look really, really chilly. I find that BG10 really, really helps to give a chilly uh, effect to scenes. Now I'm gonna just mark all over our snow globe with a white gel pen and just leave some little dots, some snow, making some of the snow larger and some of them just tiny little dots. And I'm just gonna dot all over the scene, including right over my little squirrels here. And now it is time to cut out our scene. So I'm gonna use the die from the shaker add-on. It's important to use the shaker add-on die and not the die included in the main stamp and die set because that die is not large enough. So uh, it may look large enough, but when you go to put this front part and the back part together, they won't match. So. If you are making a snow globe, be sure to use both of the dies that are included in the add-on set. Okay, so for the front of our card, I'm just gonna color in the little wooden base of the snow globe. And again, I'm using my E20s here. 
and I'm trying to give it a streaky wood-like effect. And I just do that by not blending in my darker colors and by leaving the center a little bit light. Also to help reinforce that this is a rounded object. So leaving your center light will help with that effect. And then I'm gonna do a little bit of blending. And then I'm gonna color in the base with a black marker. And I just added, I don't know if you can see it, but it's a very thin line right below the lip on the snow globe. And underneath the black is some E49. So it's not black all the way to the bottom. That will help give, um, just help to give the effect that there's a lip on the snow globe. Okay, so now I have die cut out our front and now it's time to stamp the sentiment. And I'm gonna stamp Nutty or Nice from the Nutty or Nice stamp set with some white embossing powder. So I'm just gonna heat set that and brush off any of the little crystals that are left behind with my um, brush, my paintbrush, my fan paintbrush. Then I'm adding a piece of acetate right behind. And now I want this to be a card, so that is why I hung the die off the um, edge of the card just to make sure that it didn't cut all the way through so that we could have a front and a back there. And I used some Nina Solar White 80 pound card stock for that just to make sure that the die cut through both layers. I'm gonna add two layers of foam tape to the front of our shaker card. And I'm just gonna go over the inside with my anti-static powder tool to make sure that the little sequins we're gonna put in don't stick. And then I'm just gonna add the back right on to the front of our card. And there we have it. So we have our first little shaker card done. And now we're gonna attach it to the card base that we just made. And I'm gonna add a little piece of twine there. So you could use this as a gift tag or an ornament, or you could put this on front of a card as well. I'm gonna show you one example doing that. Um, the sentiment on the inside of the card is from the Nutty or Nice stamp set. And so there are two little squirrels. Now, here is another example that I made, and this time I attached it to a card base. So that's a square card base, and then I'm just using one of the scalloped edges dies from Lawn Fawn, and then the Christmas rainbow pattern paper that was released last year. That's the pattern paper behind it. And again, I put a little piece of black and white twine there. And the stamp set for the inside of the snow globe is the Winter Village stamp set that was released last year. I just think that's so cute. I love that cozy little scene that is created by the Winter Village stamp set. And then next we're gonna look at three other examples. So I also used the Home for the Holidays mini stamp set um, to make the shaker in the lower left-hand corner with the car that says season greetings. And then I also use Lawn Fawn and Simon Says Stamps collaborative friends forever stamp set for the little otters at, at, on the bottom right. And that stamp set is no longer available, but you can also find the two otters together in the Stamptember release by Lawn Fawn and Simon Says Stamp from 2017. That one isn't available either, but if you have one of those two stamp sets, then you can make this um, card. And if not, you could always take the cozy winter stamp set, mini stamp set by Lawn Fawn that has a little otter with a Christmas hat and you can just stamp them side by side to get a similar look. And then finally, this is um, a, just a, a plain one layer card that I made using the stamps from the Ready, Set, Snow stamp set and from the Winter Village stamp set and also the Home for the Holiday stamp set. I just love that little snowman from the Ready, Set, Snow um, stamp set. He's so cute, kind of just standing watch over this village as there's this little car carrying all these great Christmas presents driving down the street. And then for the mountains, I used the dies by Lawn Fawn and I just traced them and then filled in the mountains by hand and then I did the same with the road. The road is also a die by Lawn Fawn and I traced that and just drew in the road. So just some ideas for how to use your stamps and your dies in, in different ways. All the products that I used in this video were previously released and were items that I already owned. So I urge everyone to go and look through 
your stamps and your dies and the other products that you already have and see if you can find fun and creative ways to incorporate those older products into your new card designs. I think it'll be a really fun exercise for you. I know it was for me this weekend and I think that you'll be really pleased with some of the results that you come up with. Thanks so much everyone. Have a great weekend or a great week depending on when you're tuning in and I will see you again soon in the next video.